Welcome, Welcome back to Try Journey with Jeebus, guys. And today we're doing the big recap from the $320 10 by 10 unit. So we couldn't really do a recap at the end of each video because it was just literally way too much stuff. And what you're seeing here is still not even really all the good stuff. So I guess I don't know what else to say besides let's get into this because it is a lot of stuff. <laughs> you want to start on your side? Sure. What you got? So right off the bat, we found... I don't know if, the, if this is called vintage per se, but this is Pyrex, but it is a des one of the desirable designs. I think this is called Cinderella, and this is on eBay for around $10. So selling for $10, which is not bad. But um, by the way, we'll try to have most of this posted within the next few days, but 100% probably before the weekend. Um, this right here are the yard darts that they actually bought for 99 cents <laughs> at one point. It was actually $5 in the markdown to 99 cents, but um, I think some of the subscribers told us that it is illegal to sell these because That's, of yeah. how sharp they are down here. Apparently they got so, made illegal because everyone was like, you can't sell them on eBay. Then I went to sold listing and sure enough, lots of people have sold them on eBay. So. I don't know if they did so legally. I wonder if you can list it as like a vintage collectible and not necessarily what it really is. I don't, yeah. There's a fine line there. I don't know what to do with those. I just because know they're worth a good amount. Yeah, it's old, so I mean, it's collectible. Yeah, I would just list it as a collectible. And maybe you can get away with it like that. Maybe. I don't know. We'll I find out, know. I guess. Yeah, we'll <laughs> see. <laughs> um, what you got? This next thing is one of the quilts that was out of the unit. So we've never sold quilts on eBay before, but we wanted to try. Um, and see what kind of interest we can get with quilts. Because I know some quilts, if they're like vintage and handmade, go for quite a bit of money, which is surprising. I didn't even know this until mm -hmm. probably a few weeks ago. So we're gonna try our hand with this quilt. I feel like every time we find one, everyone's like, there were so much money, there were so much money. I didn't ever <coughs> think about it. And I'm like, let's see if everybody's honest. Let's see if I throw one up for auction, what will people actually pay for it? Yeah, let's see. So this next thing is a like a windbreaker type jacket with fleece inside and it is over the wall NASCAR collection. This is an XL and it has the big logo on the back as well as a patch on the front. So that's just a simple piece of clothing that we're gonna list. I didn't look that up, did you? I, I don't think I did. Well, I, just... I think I did, but I couldn't find that exact jacket. Okay. So. I just know everything with NASCAR logo, people collect like crazy. Yeah. Um, so these things are pretty cool. These are, it is bark paper, which is what you thought, I think, in the video. And yeah. the actual name for it starts with an A. I think it's like Amate paintings or something like that. But it's pretty much Mexican folk art. And I'm assuming the price is based on the size of the piece of paper and whatever's painted onto it. So both of these are birds. Uh, both of these are going to be listed, and I think for this size, they go for around 8 to $10, but I feel like the painting itself might change the price, so I couldn't find this exact auction. painting, so yeah, that's probably what we're going to have to do with that. Speaking of auction, i got to point something out now. When we were in the unit, we found this little collection of all these elephants. Let's see, it's one here, right? This one, one, Yeah. then the little green one, two. Then this guy, three, and the two little ones, right? These two little ones, four or five, and then the red one is six. So we decided to say in the video, you know, if anyone's interested, message us. We're thinking, all right, I might get someone or two, one or two people that are interested. It's been over a hundred messages, and if we keep trying to respond to everybody, we literally are not going to have time to even make videos anymore. Yeah. So sorry for everyone's messages. We cannot keep up. It's not possible. So. The only thing we're going to be able to do is to make it fair for everybody, take a picture, throw them on eBay, put them up for an auction, and let's see who puts the highest bid in. Because getting back to everybody is just going to take like literally hours and hours of every day. It's taking away from video time and we just, we cannot keep up with everybody's messages. We can't yeah. do it. We didn't realize like how much interest I would uh, arise from the elephants. Yeah, so. like, like I said, literally last time it was just like 102 messages off of elephants. And they literally, since Friday, what is today, Monday? There's been like 272 messages just through Facebook about stuff from this unit. That's why I was like, we're going to have to just put this stuff on eBay. Because if we sit there and get back to every single person, it's just, it's just not possible. Yeah. Just don't have enough hours in a day, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Being realistic here. Yeah. Um, so, this next item is the belt buckle with the Morgan dollar on the front. However, 
I think we've got a couple people interested in this, but I cannot tell if it's real silver. Mm -hmm. I do not see 925 marked on the silver, and I do not even know if the Morgan dollar is real. So I got a little bit of an idea really quick. Give me one second. Okay. I want to test something. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Um, so this is one of the vintage Christmas things. Again, I could not find this exact thing. But it was vintage, so I figured I would set it aside and try it on eBay. So, I forgot we had this over there. The giant magnet. So, if it sticks to this, you know 100% if it sticks, it's not silver. And if it doesn't stick, there's a greater chance. You want to just drop it on there? Oh, well. This sticks. What about the... Yeah. yeah. What about the dollar itself? No. Alright, so the Morgan dollar on it is legitimate silver, but the belt buckle is not silver. The dollar itself, so I wonder if we could take that off. Like it's just glued. Might try to pluck it off, because they're worth about 20 bucks in just silver. 1883. I don't know if you can. It looks like soldered on there. I don't know. I don't know, maybe we'll just list it up on eBay just like that. I'm not sure. I think we should. All right. Um, what do we have next? The transformer. Sure. I so, think you looked up the trip. Yeah, sure. I almost tossed it aside because it looked like just a little car to me. Because he, he wasn't like in his, on his transformed stage. But it's actually a 1987 Transformer. I never really watched the show, so I don't know their names or anything like that. But this guy from Transformers. What's his name? Somebody should let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what else do we have? Probably the coolest thing. I want to talk about this. This is what I saw. it. These freaking things. Sterling Silver 925 picture frame. Now most of these I've seen going for like 50 or $60, but I've never seen this Victoria is what people had it listed as selling, but the people that had it listed had it listed at like 180 to $260 for this Victorian style. So I think maybe we'll put it up for auction and see what happens, but apparently that's pretty expensive and like a pretty desirable design because all the other ones are priced at like 60 and this one was priced at like two something. So it was like, cool, I like that. <laughs> I always like that. Well, okay, so let's get this out of the way. This is just a marble bag. Um, again, collectors like marble. Um, a lot of marble collectors, but bags like this, fifteen twenty dollars at Very most. Much. But I know it'll probably sell. Um, this is one thing that kind of caught me off guard. So it was a little purse, but it had a dragon on it. So I was like, all right, let me look this up because it looked like it was like handwritten, like the the brand right here. So the brand is. Um, Anu Shuka, if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, I, I, I mean I think it goes for like twenty or thirty dollars wow. used. So for a, coin bag. for a little coin purse, so that'll definitely be up there. I also want to point out this little thing. A lot of people pointed out to me. I didn't think nothing of it. The little tiny doll in here, a 1966 Lucky Locket Kittle. I looked these up. Some of them were as cheap as twelve dollars, but some of them are going as high as like eighty bucks. And I just don't know what which one we have here. So most likely, this is going to have to go for auction too. And just I'm just going to have to see what people will pay because I don't know the differences between the different ones. They all look the same to me. Like I found two that look identical. One goes for eighteen, and one went for eighty. Like I just don't know the difference. Maybe just different buyers, different days. I don't know. <laughs> different buyers. I just don't know. If I sound horrible, guys. I am just so sick today. Today's just not been my day. What you got? So this is just a simple um, religious like home deco type thing. You just put the light in them and they light up. But it, I don't. It just it, it looked vintage by the way like the light was and the base. So I figured it would be an easy sell. So it might be up there for a few bucks. I, I'm not. I'm not sure on price on this at all. I think all. we looked them up. I looked, they're like eighteen to twenty-six dollars somewhere in that range. They're like a twenty-dollar item plus shipping. I just remember it was very hard to find. Yeah. Um. So these, I think you'll probably remember the price of those. Yeah. Can you believe some scissors <laughs> were going for like twenty dollars? I just didn't think nothing of it. These are a little rusty, so I don't know if they'll still go for twenty dollars in the shape they're in, but they work. So. I mean, I hope people will just be into it just for if they work, they work, but you know, some people are conditioned, so I don't know how much we'll get for these or if we'll list them exactly, but yeah. they're cool. We'll clean them up. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy, though. Scissors. So this thing caught my eye in one of the totes in there. So it says fried.with.ingles, E-N-G-E-L-S, and then some other um, non-English phrase under it. 
But this is actually a razor. So like mm -hmm. a vintage razor. Ow. And you just slice your mouth. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I didn't realize they were that, um, yeah, that sharp. But so this razor right here that's actually in it isn't the one that's supposed to be in this case. If it was the one that was supposed to be in this case, it's worth like $40. But mm -hmm. this by itself was worth like 10 and I, I wasn't sure if the case would raise the value of the razor, so might put that on auction on eBay. Yeah. It feels like a paper cut. I hate those kind of cuts. Oh. And we also got these, um, they're dirty right now with their Sparagamo glasses, and they actually go for like 35 to 40 bucks. You know, before, the only thing we found before this Sparagamo were shoes, and they were really expensive, so I saw the brand on there, I was like, Hey, if they got my glasses, might be high, just like the shoes. So we looked them up, and sure enough, these were new. They're like eighty to over a hundred dollars, but used they go for like thirty to forty bucks after we clean them up. And these are like dual prescription or whatever. So, yeah, bifocal, that weird word. So maybe they're worth more. I'm not too sure. What they're at least like thirty bucks plus, which is cool. Yeah. What about this? Remember, we were going to like yeah, one of the trashy bins. I don't really know if it's worth anything. It's just a Harley Davidson like little patch, but. Just Harley Davidson is one of those brands, every time I see it, I feel like I need to set it aside. Just like NASCAR, it's always worth looking up, but when you type in Harley Davidson patch, you only get like 7 million results, so not really too sure if it's worth anything, but just because it was Harley Davidson, we set it aside. This little thingy, it wasn't even worth much though. It was worth like 15 bucks, but it is brand new, so brand new stuff are always going to list on there. Plus, if we take this kind of stuff to the flea market, it's going to get you like $2, so... I'd rather get 15 bucks and put it on eBay. So in case you didn't know what this is, because I didn't know what it is, it's a, it's called Buddha Board Mini, and it says, uh, inspired by the Zen idea of living in the moment, you still be painted on the surface with water, and eventually it just evaporates and it's a clear slate again. So and I thought that was really cool. It's easy for kids, so. Pretty cool. Yeah. We also got Curious George here. I, didn't re I don't even remember looking him up. I just remember that's like the old school one I remember seeing when I was younger. So I didn't even look at the year on this. Let's see if we can find the year on it. And it's got the cover to it. Uh, the stamped year in here from the library is from 1982. So I know it's at least that old. This is from 1969. 1969 edition of Curious George. But it does have damage like here. Probably where they used to have. Who remembers the library books? You used to have like the little things in there. The cards. Yeah, but it came out of the library. So that's probably why the pages ripped. So... I don't know if it was worth listing. It was kind of more of like, a, oh my gosh, I remember that. I set it aside type thing when I found it. What else do we got? Purses? Sure. So this one we have looked up in the number everything man. This is a real coach purse, but it's not in perfect condition, but it's not in horrible. Mostly there's just a little bit of damage up here. So usually a good condition coach purse will get like 50 to $70. So this one, I'm thinking I'll make 20 bucks at least. At least, maybe more. We'll see. Then this one, I didn't even look up because it's never been used, there's nothing in it, it's brand new, and the price tag on it says $38. But the date on here says opening October 1971. I don't know if that's just Disneyland or that's the date this thing was made or what. So I don't know if this is actually that. This could be for all we know right now, this could be like a vintage purse, it's worth like a couple hundred bucks. A vintage purse that looks new. Yeah, I can't find it, there's no date on it, but it does have a actual Disneyland park uh, tag on the inside too, so it's 100% authentic Disney, I just don't know what it's gonna bring. At least I think it definitely, at least what it's taxed as. I'm hoping it's gonna be a more valuable piece though. Yeah. We don't know. Oh, what else got? Bags. That thing. So this right here is a shadow box with a little, I don't know, goo right here, which we can get off, but on the back of it, it says ivory. So this frame part right here feels like ivory, the rest of it's just wood, but I wasn't sure if this was real ivory and I wouldn't think that if it's fake ivory that it would be printed on the back with like a number and I know yeah. the I know the only way to test ivory is to burn it and see if it smells like plastic stick a needle in it yeah um and I haven't done that yet but I didn't know if anybody else had seen one like this uh but I mean it's bigger than some of the stuff that we usually put on eBay, but I'm gonna try it. If it's, especially if it's Let's real see. ivory. Yeah. I hope it is. I hope it is. I really hope it is. So, in this thing, this is one of the more high end items we found. It's the GameCube, but the GameCube itself is worth about 30 bucks. The game that's with it is worth about 10 bucks. 
and the bag it comes in by itself sells for like twenty dollars. So as a lot, when we put that on eBay, it's got a controller, it's got its cable. We already tested it and tested the game with it. It all works fine. So I'm thinking that's gonna be at least like sixty bucks or more for that. So that's a good find. As a whole model, right? Yeah, like sixty bucks for the whole thing. I'm thinking the Game Boy, the silver frame, and some of it will make up the majority of what we paid for the unit, so yeah. it's always good. I already showed that. Um, what about these things? Are they like bookends? I just didn't know if they were old. They're, um, they're wall... This is like the hardest thing to find, and I, I finally found them after like googling different names for them. But like if you have a wall, you basically put them like this, and it kind of decorates the wall on each side. So it's just wall corner decorations, but they're cast iron. So I didn't know if these were always made in cast iron, and if they were, they would probably be vintage. And it has like some like fall design on it. So I just figured I would set this aside again, try it on eBay, gauge interest. So yeah. that's why we're putting those on there. Nothing this whole thing. This thing is um, made in Mexico. Superior is the brand, and it's actually a tortilla press. But I thought it was just a frying pan. Yeah, uh, it to is. To me, it looked like a sewer cap when I first found that at first, minus this piece right here. But yeah, but honestly, it's weird. Ca it's cast iron. It looks super old, but it's. I think it's old still, but it's cast iron that's slightly rusted. Um, but it still could have collector's value and I think I mean I looked it up and looked it up and I could not find the superior brand but cast iron ones were still going for at least $20. Did you look this little thing up? Yes. So this is the dancing Mr. and Mrs. Um, it says Mr. and Mrs. Santa but it's Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Um, so it, they dance on like a mirror and, and it's uh, musical, but these are vintage and go for honestly between like 20 and 50. So I think, yeah, it might just depend on what year version, what year box, because all the boxes look different. Um, and then like the glass shape. But well, we did take it out of there and it does work perfectly. Yeah. So it's it was well kinda preserved. Cool. I kind of want to set it up. Don't play the music though, or else we're gonna get copyright <laughs> struck. But it's just something I've never seen a decoration like that before. I thought it was a pretty cool thing. Kinda and both, like even Christmas. yeah, even both the figures are like hand painted, and so this is what I was talking about—the condition on the glass. So like with this, it's probably gonna be closer to twenty dollars. But they're just like magnetically stuck on there, and as the music plays, they just like rotate around this part. Which is really pretty cool. cool. So we also got two. CDs here, some Hispanic music artists now. There's a lot of Hispanic CDs in this unit. Yeah, we actually sent off a box of all the other ones to Declutter. We ended up getting like 40 bucks for them, but we use Declutter also as a tool. When you're scanning stuff, if you see anything that comes up more than a dollar or two, look it up on eBay. Because sometimes if they're, they're obviously not buying it to have some giant collection, they're reselling them. So the more they offer you, you know, the more it's worth. So both of these came up as like $3. So that's really unusual with the clutter. They usually offer you, here's a nickel, here's a quarter, here's a nickel, here's a quarter. When they offer you like dollars, okay, look it up. So we looked these two up and both of these CDs, one of them was sold for like $32 and one of them was sold for like $27 or $28, but these two CDs can bring 50 bucks right here. And we would have just sold them at the, sold them at the flea market for a dollar. Yeah. That's why I use the clutter as a tool to scan everything. Even though it can get repetitive, just scan it because you never know when some random CD like that's 30 bucks. That's $50 yeah. we would have given away for two bucks. $50. But I also want to add to that and say that just because a CD uh, rings up for more than a dollar or even three dollars doesn't mean it has this worth because I had a whole stack of probably five um, that were over a dollar and five or six that were three dollars, but not all the three dollar ones were worth this much. So you have to just look them up individually and don't just assume that they're going to have that much worth. Yeah, but definitely look them up. And the worst yeah. thing, you look them all up and then not, you just throw them in a box and send them to the clutter. Like we took those two out and canceled those two off our order, sent them the rest. Like I said, we're getting like 40 bucks for them for a bunch of CDs that we would have sold for a dollar a piece and made like 15 bucks at the flea market. Yep. And don't forget, the clutter pays for your shipping too, so you get all that money. But they send through UPS. Yeah, you have to go for the <laughs> UPS, which sucks because USPS, 24 hour drop off UPS. You gotta go there in a day and yep. deal with people. <laughs> <laughs> so we got these two books over here. I don't know about this one. Did we looked that one up? I didn't. 
I don't remember that one there, but this book for some reason somebody bought on eBay for like $19 and some change, which is more than the price tag even is on here. So I don't know if like one person for some reason just bought it for a lot. I don't know why, but apparently it's a $20 book and it's not even listed for that much on the back. And the thing with books is that you ship a media mail, so you pay next to nothing for shipping. So I was like, if we can get 15 or 20 bucks for it, why not? Books, you can kind of do the same thing. You can sit through and scan them through like Book Scouter. Declutter takes books too, doesn't it? Yeah. I think they do. Yeah, but you can sit there and just scan through them and whatnot, and you can do the same thing. If they offer you a good amount, it's probably a valuable book. Easy this way to do it. This isn't even a normal book. What is it? There's art pieces in it, like this. So, like every other page or so has an art piece on it, but it's a journal. Oh, Writing, it's not creativity used, right? journal. No. Yeah. 20 bucks. So. That's weird. I also set these aside because I just don't know. I've heard like weird stories of certain marbles being worth a ton of money. And since everything else in this unit, like the majority of it was old vintage stuff, I assume that these marbles were probably old and vintage too. I've never seen a jar like this besides like really old ones. So I don't know if these marbles are worth anything yet. I don't really know how to look them up because the marble doesn't have any <laughs> markings on it. It's just Marble's a freaking little ball. But there is a sticker on the glass jar that has, I don't know what it says, it's not English, it says like K-O-E-K-M-E-E-L. Coek meal. That a marble brand, I don't know. And there was a barcode on the bottom, but you can't see it no more. So I don't know if they bought, plus I don't know if they bought this jar separately. It might not have even been a marble jar. Maybe they yeah, put the marbles not. in there. I have no idea what we're dealing with here, but I don't even know what it takes something like this or how to look up marbles. Like, how do you look up a particular marble? There's no markings know. on it. No markings. I feel like marble collectors, I think if we put this on an auction, then they'll we'll just, just put marbles. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to put. Just a lot um, of marbles. And yeah. then they'll just pay whatever and we'll ship it out. Yeah, that's pretty much all we can do. So, we also have the old camera here, not worth too much money. This goes for like 15 bucks, in some cases 20. But we don't even know if it works obviously since we don't have it um paper for it so we have to list it as untested which means it's more than likely going to bring the 15 dollars range the 20 dollars ones we're selling because they've been tested we don't have the ability to test it so it's probably going to bring about 15 bucks lastly oh yeah I'm put the thing out here this is blocking my view but this is full of a lot of the gems and rocks that we found in the unit there's actually more of them out there isn't there rocks okay. and gems oh they're right there okay like this, just like we found before. Again, we're probably gonna line them up and sell them because it's just easier that way for us. And I don't know, they're just rocks. Do you remember the box we found with a bunch of jewelry in it too? So I went through all there and picked out everything that was real. No gold, unfortunately, but we have about 12 pieces of silver jewelry in here. Rings, earrings, necklaces, and everything like that. Last time we put a lot of silver jewelry up, we went for like 160 bucks, but it was more than this, so. I'm saying this is about 50, 50 to 60 dollars worth of silver jewelry on eBay probably, so not bad. And lastly, we got this thing, which is also full of more gemstones, rocks, and things of that nature. Just all kinds of little things. The only one I can ever pick out is amethyst. That's the only <laughs> thing I know what it is. Everything else is just gems. And so this whole container right here, along with these, will probably be lotted up together because yeah, yeah. it's all the same kind of stuff it was just in two different boxes but doing it on ebay auctions is like literally the only way we can we're able to keep up with stuff because we used to be able to sell on facebook but as like we keep buying bigger units it's just getting we're crazy we used to buy five by fives and you guys know there'd be like five or six things maybe people are interested in and that was it but units like this we have people messaging us this all day it never ends <laughs> and it's just about all kinds of little things and it's just I don't know what to do. I'm just like overwhelmed with the messages. So like, we're just gonna have to list this stuff on eBay. We're gonna have no time to do yeah. anything else. And I, I've already replied to quite a few of you, but then it just got overwhelming and I, I couldn't. Like, so if you got a message in. from me, um, I know I said that I was taking offers, but this is what we had to end up doing. It's just too much. They're like coming in faster than we can respond to them too. Yeah. And by the way, this is just the eBay stuff. And we also have a lot of flea market stuff. And I mean a lot. A lot. So before we even show you just the pure volume of the flea market stuff, which is ridiculous. Is it going to take us? I don't even know how many trips. Left out a few things out there. One, the vintage Barbies and the vintage Barbie clothes are also going to be sold as a big lot. And I'm thinking those things will fetch over a hundred some dollars easy. Maybe like two hundred dollars because some of them are worth quite a bit of money. We have a lot of clothes. Even the clothes go for a lot. And it's set a lot of people's curiosity. You remember we found these bills? Some people are thinking they're real. So we decided let's look, take a look and look at them and tell if they're real or fake. Look.
It's not even a whole, real bill. <laughs> it's in two pieces. Like the front and the back are two different prints. So they're 100% just fake little novelties. They might have literally got found these and held on to them because they thought they were real. That's why they put them in like where they were. So they're all the same way. They're fakes. And we also got some more stuff over here that we couldn't even take out there. The whole lot of Levi's and stuff like that's right there. The toolbox there has the two socket wrench sets. We're going to try to get those listed too. Those Corinthian bell like wind chimes i'm calling wind chimes i know they're called corinthian bells i don't know what that means Might they're wind the chimes brand. they're wind chimes and flea market stuff look over here J just look over here look at this it's kind of crazy really one unit for 320 dollars this is how much stuff's left for the flea market you think it's a lot huh yeah that's got to be at least probably gonna be three trips for us to the flea market easily in that like a low end day we'll make 200 bucks there so if that's three trips that's an additional 600 bucks five so say five six hundred dollars i don't know if it's gonna be two and a half or three loads but five six hundred dollars worth of stuff right here plus we have all that in there and literally like we have two trash bags some of it's from other units but as far as trash goes this unit was not really trashy it was like we have two bags of trash which is really really good but again this is all Flea market. It's gonna take three days at least. I, I don't know, two or three days. Depends on how nicely we pack the van. All right, that's gonna be it for this one. Again, to the people we message back, we're sorry. It's just it's becoming impossible, and we gotta make sure we can keep making videos. That's the number one priority to us. I mean, literally, this is since we've woken up. This is how many set things we already have to go ship out. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's since like 11 a.m. this morning. It's just the selling part is just so much more out here than we were used to because. We used to buy a lot of, you know, it wasn't really high-end stuff. Since we've gotten out of California, we found a lot better stuff, and the selling is starting to make up a little bit more money, so it's taking a lot of time, too. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. If you did enjoy it, leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure and the videos all the time. And if you do want to follow us on our social media links, they're going to be on screen. Click the links down in the description below, and make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.